We are going to tackle a new project. We're going to fix that airline and move it so we don't have this problem again in the future. And I will show you it. I'm going to crawl underneath, get dirty as hell. You're um, already dirty. I am already <laughs> dirty. I got... Look at the dust falling off me. Uh, I don't want to do this right now, but. At least it's nice weather to do it. We're not in snow and cold. Yeah. So, I mean, it's chilly, but not bad. I'll give it that, but I don't want to crawl under because I'm going to get dirty and. That's what showers But I don't want to pay a shop to do it. And I don't want to go sit in Freightliner's waiting room while they do it under warranty. And it's $7 fix, a little bit of time probably bust a couple knuckles. All right, I'm gonna crawl under there. I'm gonna show you what happened, how it happened, and how we're gonna fix it. All right, you're gonna have to forgive us for the audio. The guy next to us decided to idle his truck. But if you can see right here, this is the part that I got from CarQuest. I did move the tank over a little bit. This was further over this way. And what happened was the leaf spring right here was banging into that plastic part and of course eventually just cut a hole in it. There's a leaf spring right here, air tank right there. I don't know why that guy decided to use this hole in inlet when we got this one and this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the plug out of this one, put it in this one, and then move this airline over to here. Now if you look, I had to splice in to get, be able to give it a bend because this was a 90 degree turn, but now it's a 45 degree. So I'm going to take this out and use the ones I got from Freightliner. And one thing I think I'm going to do is take this out, move this one, which connects both the tanks, and put that one right here so that this one can move over to right here. Let's start taking stuff apart. First thing you want to do, release your air. Now having a good pair of cutters anytime you're doing airline work is handy. Uh, I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this airline to be able to get it back into there. And I'll probably have to cut off some of this green one too to make it fit perfect into that one. But just a pair of cutters that I got from Home Depot. All right. Now that we got a little bit of quiet, let's see, uh, hopefully you guys can see all of that, what I was doing. So this right here was right here and it was getting hit by this leaf spring. We have corrected that. I pulled this plug out of over here, put it right here, moved this up there, and then this was up here, I moved it down here. That so makes more sense. It you makes more sense. Now it's away from the, the leaf spring. The leaf spring shouldn't hit it. And the problem is, is here's my shackles. So when you bounce down the road, this gets pushed back some. Well, it was banging right into that freaking plastic piece. I need to move the, the tank back into place because I had shifted it over this way 
to be able to get to that that plug and stuff so basically it's held on by this cable i just gotta loosen these top parts loosen it up and put it back into position and then tighten them down then we will have heather started up and we are going to squirt it with some water just to make sure build up air pressure soapy water. soapy water and make sure we ain't got no air leaks and make sure everything's nice and tidy now having some of these on hand is really handy these things will save you in a pinch if you can't get uh, a bunch of airline my understanding of the regulation about using these is you're only allowed to use one on a, on a single airline i don't know if it's on a single airline or if it's on the whole truck i'm not 100 percent sure so i'll have to look that up and i'll put uh confirmed or denied up right up here <laughs> all right i'm gonna uh, loosen up this tank and get it uh repositioned right and hopefully we don't have no air leak all right we got the tank tightly secured now uh moved back to where it was now we're gonna give see if i can't see where i'm showing but right here right here is where it was hitting so now that we got the plug put in right there we should be good and it's not gonna hit over here or over here we are gonna have heather we're going to tighten it, close our valves up. I already close it. Have my handy assistant right there uh, start the truck up. And you want to hand me the squirt bottle? Yep. And uh, hand me the squirt bottle and we'll squirt all these fittings. Now these plugs come with uh, like a, it's like a gasket stuff in the thread. So when you tighten it back down, it does do a pretty good job of sealing it but we are gonna make sure just in case, and if we do need to use some Teflon tape, we will. Hand me the squirt bottle and get her started up. Okay. All right. Having your wife start the truck while you're underneath is not fun. And the engine is right there. <laughs> it gets noisy under here. And again, I'm a big boy trying to get under here was not fun. I'm gonna need to get some something that I can drive the front tires up on maybe some blocks of wood or something nothing too extravagant um maybe a four by six or four by eight probably just to get the front end elevated a little bit better so i can crawl under here if i ever have to again all right start it up So we got a slight little bubbly coming on here. Nothing horrible. Well, there we go. All done, all fixed. All fixed. Uh, got that airline tightened in there a little bit better. I ended up pulling it out, giving it a square cut with my cutters and then put it back in. I just took a little bit off the end. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> We've said, but, how many times have we, I don't even want to say it again. New doesn't always mean problem free, right, but we keep saying right. it. And, hey, it was quicker for us to fix it than to go sit at Freightliner for however long it would have taken have there. Have to go sit in their waiting room with a dog. You guys need to tell Heather, I need one of those creeper dollies. <laughs> I do. I do, because look at me, look at. Yeah. Filthy! Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody needs a shower now. Yeah, we need to go shower. That's what we're doing now. Yeah. After we get all these tools put up, yeah. go shower. But yeah, you did good, babe. Yeah. I'm so glad you're handy. Hey, I, <laughs> honestly, to be 100% honest, I could not do it without her either. You know, I forget a tool, I forget I need something, you know, she hands it to me. And by all means, I am far from a mechanic. <laughs> I am just mechanically inclined, you know. That, that's all it takes, really. You makes know? all the difference when you got a good handy helper, it that's does. for sure. It really does. It, it's funny, I, I don't know if I mentioned this already. We had an airline shaping in our M2 as well, and we had to, yeah. 
stop and get a new airline and replace it. And sure, I could have stopped at a shop to do it, but it's like it's air, airlines are such a simple process. You don't need any special tools other than that cutter I recommend, but to replace an airline, it's quick connects, you know. Um, maybe some of the older trucks don't have those, but I know uh, our M2 had them. This has it. Airlines happen. That's just yeah. what, part of what, what we do. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. I'm going to stop rambling. Okay. Right, cool. <laughs> Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. And until our next video, peace, love, and expediting.